Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here to talk about more Fake Grand Order. So, today, I actually am going to be doing a very quick video, just because this recently showed up on the Korean side of the game, and it seems likely that this will eventually come to the North America version of the game. So, I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about it and say like, hey, if you were potentially thinking of summoning on any banner that was not featured, uh, you should maybe wait a little bit because this banner is kind of crazy if you're looking for some specific units. So yeah, first things first, um, why am I looking at the Korean, there's a Korean version of the game? There is in fact a Korean version of the game that is just slightly ahead of us. In the past, all our North American banners that have been kind of like exclusive to us weren't really exclusive to us. They actually also showed up on the Korean version of the game just a little bit beforehand. And this specific banner is here to celebrate the um, uh, Imaginary Scramble. I was trying to remember its name. So it's definitely a banner that that's why there's like a bunch of summer units because the event is very like water ocean based. And also Abbey because it's also based off of um, uh, the, the foreigners. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. So yeah, this banner seems pretty likely for us to come to our side. But yeah, all those banners that came to us that were a surprise, they actually did show up on the Korean side of the banner. So I try and I've been trying to keep a little bit more attention on what's happening on the Korean side of the game, just in case I want to inform people like, hey, you should maybe wait a little bit. And I'll go more into the actual units if it does end up releasing on North America. But let me tell you, this banner is kind of crazy. It has uh, Summer Saber from year one. It has, which is a five star. It has Abby on it, which is another five star. And it has Tamamo Lancer, who is another five star, who is also from year one. It has the Yuri Pirates right here from year one. Melt Lancer <laughs> out of all of them, which is another big one for a lot of people. And then we have uh, Queen Maeve, who is also her summer version. And then we have Oki over here in the background, also a part of this banner. So it would be likely that if I would assume, because I don't know much more info but just based on this, because they literally just got the info on it, and I didn't see any other info but this. If they were going to have a rotating system, it would be likely that you would get a, a specific one where you would probably get... Uh, one of these two on here, there would be there would be a lot of potential because in theory you could do Summer Saber with these four, and then you do the same for Abby, and you do the same for Tomomo, and then in that case I think you get around twelve different variations of what it could be. But that's not even counting the fact that there's going to be a banner that has all three of them on it at the same time, which is also kind of fucking crazy. So maybe they'd be thirteen banners. I don't know who would summon on that unless you got like the luck of the gods, but you know someone's going to summon on that one. And someone in Korea is somehow going to be able to pull Abby, Summer Tamamo, and Summer Saber. It is also really funny that it is base Abby and not Summer Abby. Because <laughs> we just got Summer Abby, so they probably can't just return her like that. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a banner to kind of just... If you're currently someone thinking like, ah, you know what, maybe I'll throw a banner at Oki and... Cleo, maybe try and get them, get some of the old Halloween CEs, I would just kind of wait off just a bit and kind of wait and see what's kind of coming up ahead. In general, you probably should not be summoning on that banner unless you're a big fan of Cleo and Oki. Oki, why do I keep calling her Oki? It's Hime. Anyway, uh, Hime. Uh, why the fuck was I calling her Oki? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna continue on. Um, yeah, something to just kind of keep in mind. Get ready for this one. It could potentially be coming when the actual banner gets announced for us. I'll go down these units uh, more effectively, but I can tell you right now, all these dudes, except for maybe the Yuri Pirates, are pretty solid in what they do. <laughs> I think it's only them that are the ones that are, like need more buffs. But the others, uh, Melt is a fantastic uh, AoE unit. Summer Saber is a fantastic single target arts. Uh, a pretty solid uh, single target uh, Lancer. A pretty solid single target foreigner for uh, for Buster. I was just she kills Berserker. She melts them pretty easily. I think oh, uh, Hime is a AOE for quick, which is pretty nice. And then Maeve, I'd never remember, but I really like her noble phantasm, so I'm gonna mark that as good. I want to say she is a art saber of some kind. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Very quick video. Hopefully we get this on NA pretty soon. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.